Greetings and salutations to all of you lovely and beautiful, beautiful people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to yet another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's episode, today's special episode, I'm going to be taking my first look at Sabrina Carpenter with her song, Please, Please, Please. And this is the official music video. Now, this is a completely brand new artist to me. I have not heard of this young lady's name. Don't know what she's about. Don't know what genre of music she makes. My Patreon member just sent me the link, said that she liked this song and that I should check it out. And that's what I'm going to do here today. Now, my Patreon member that suggested this song has, there's been some misses, okay? But there's been a lot more hits than misses. So, I'm excited to see if this song is worthy enough of a playlist for me. At the end of this video, I will tell you whether or not it makes a playlist and what kind of playlist I would put it on. Honest and genuine reactions here on this channel. So if you're with it, let's go ahead and get right into the video. She visiting her man? No, she's in the cell. Carpenter. Bad girl, bad girl. Somebody bailed your ass out. Let's go. Down home to your left. She's cute. That's her, right? That's. Okay, to your left. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe it's not her. Looking at the uh, man, channel thumbnail, it looks like it's a blonde. Once you've confirmed, you'll follow officers in alley through the exit ramp. Maybe somebody in the comments can confirm, but is that her song in the background in, in this part of the video? I would uh, I would hope so, or imagine so. Or maybe it's a fellow record record label mate. Label mate. Yeah, it's a label mate. That's what that's called. Ma'am, are you listening? Ma'am, this is not a beauty cure. I'm going to need you to comply. Ma'am. Uh oh please, 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 don't prove I'm right. It looks like David De is it DeCovney? DeCovney is that how you say his last name? From the X Files, but like a slightly younger version. But like kinda a little old in the face, but it's all it's all good. He he could be old, I have no idea. Wait, sure. Love this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like late se late 70s, transitory, early 80s. Like it's like a mix of instrumentation that that was like prominently used in both eras of music. That's a really cool combo. Like the guitar sounds 70s, but like the what is that? It's it's most likely a keyboard or synth one of the two or maybe a combination of both you never really know when it comes to music production these days they have so many tools at their disposal to make sounds of instruments but um i like it i really really like it i know i have good judgment i know i have good taste mm. it's funny and it's ironic that only i feel that way okay. i promise them that you're different and everyone makes mistakes but just don't Ooh, I like the breathiness of this. I heard that you're an actor, so act like a stand-up guy. Mm. Whatever devil's Ooh, like inside that. you, don't let him out tonight. Mm. I tell them it's just your culture, and everyone rolls their eyes. Mm. Yeah, I know. All I'm asking, baby. Please, 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 don't prove I'm right. Mm. I 
like that. I like that. I really, really like that. Nice touch. Maybe just stay inside. I know you're craving some fresh that. air, but the ceiling fan is so nice. so nice, and we could live so happily if no one knows that you're with me. Okay, so I have a confession to make. Okay, to uh, uh, maybe a new audience, maybe you guys already know this, but I'm a sucker for some cute teeth with some character. I like me some cute teeth with some character. I like me some some pretty ladies, you know. I'm going to be honest with you, Sabrina Carpenter, usually not really my type, but she has some beautiful eyes and really nice teeth. Very, very nice teeth. Teeths. I call them teeths. Sometimes. Sometimes I call them teeths. But hers are cute. And um, I'm really digging this song, guys. I really, really like this song so far. Hopefully there's like a cool little bridge, you know, something that kind of... Not to break the monotony, not that it's monotonous whatsoever, but something that kind of sticks out just a little bit more. I have a fun idea, babe. Maybe just stay inside. I know I you're craving that. some fresh air, but the ceiling fan is so nice. And we could live so happily if no one knows that you're with me. I'm just kidding, but really, kind of. Really. the writing it's good please 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 don't bring me the tears when i'm just in my makeup so nice heartbreak is what i think my ego's in i beg you don't embarrass me motherfucker i like that i like that a lot a little sassiness please 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 I like how that went down. I like that. Shout out to everybody out there in production. Credits are kind of covered by the um, the other videos that were being linked. But what a pleasant surprise. I didn't know what to expect. She does, I can't really call this country. It's poppy. Far too poppy for it to be considered country. Now I know the delineation between country and pop has been a little blurred as of late. I'm not a huge country fan, but I love the genre. Don't get it twisted. I have my favorites. I typically like listening to a lot older country, personally. But, yeah, she has, like, that country. It's, I wouldn't say, like, twang, but it's kind of there. Like, there's a nuance of twang. But she has a beautiful voice. Lovely, lovely voice. Um, didn't know what to expect as far as her vocalistic talents were concerned. But I'm on board. I'm on board. It looks like she has a few other songs. I'd love to check them out depending on how well this video does. I need an audience to make these videos for. So please forgive the horns that you probably heard in the background. You know, it's just like, I'm sure it's one of my viewers like, bro, hurry up and get to the part where you tell us if this makes a playlist. So let me go ahead and do that for you right now. <sighs> It makes a playlist, so. Now, I'm just kind of stuck on where to place this. This goes on an office playlist for sure. It's definitely office friendly. There is that mother effer 
there but i work with adults it's not like there's children around it would be a little weird for somebody to be offended by the f word it's used ubiquitously throughout the world by various personas characters and people so it's like you know it shouldn't be a big issue but yeah i put this on a on an office playlist for sure and even though my daughter's 11 well, she's 12 today, actually. I'm gonna have to get used to that. My daughter just turned 12. This is an artist that I would like to introduce to my daughter. Now, I let my daughter listen to a lot of music she probably shouldn't be listening to, but that's because I was allowed to listen to a lot of music that I shouldn't have been listening to at a very young age as well. And I don't feel like it was a detriment to my growth whatsoever because it allowed me to understand and experience others' experiences through their music and it gave me a greater perspective of the world. So do your best not to handicap your kids. Of course, within reason, within reason, there's definitely some songs and artists you don't want them listening to. You don't need them bumping WAP. You know what I mean? Like that's, or like the real Slim Shady. That's, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. But like I said, within reason, within reason, this is definitely an artist I think I can introduce her to for sure. And I'll likely end up showing her this song. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Didn't know what to expect, but I'm pleased. Definitely pleased. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. It is greatly appreciated as always. And I do hope to catch you all on the next one.